Sophia. Plus CO2 and what reaction this is? What kind of reaction it is? Free radical mechanism. Right? This is free radical mechanism. So this R can be alkyl or aryl, anything. Right? I have told you that time also. R can be what? Alkyl or aryl. Suppose we are using this phenyl ring instead of this R. This one. Right? Under same conditions, we are two CCL for everything is same. What is the product we get? Aryl bromide. Correct. Instead of R, we have this phenyl. Right. So this is again one of the precursor method of aryl, right? Which is Hans Dicker reaction. Okay. So in Hans Dicker reaction, you have already done it. Right. This R can be alkyl or aryl. If you use aryl, you get aryl aryl. If you use alkyl, you get alkyl. Another method of preparation is from phenol. Phenol when heated with phosphorus pentachloride, PCL5. You will get chlorophyll here. Plus POCL3. Plus HCO. This is another reaction. Next method, the last one you write down. Last method you write down. By decarboxylation of halogenated acid. By decarboxylation of halogenated acid. Suppose the CLCOO NA we have and for decarboxylation we use NaOH and CO, the mixture of NaOH and CO. Right? So what happens in this Na2CO3 goes out in this reaction. Right? So this combines with this forms Na2CO3. This is decarboxylation reaction. And it forms C6H5, right? C6H5 CO. This is again chlorobenzene. Now, this instead of chlorine, we can take here bromine also. If you take bromine here, you will get bromine. Right? So, these are the method of preparation of aryl aryl. Okay. Next write down reaction of the last part is the reaction of aryl okay. I'll write down all the reactions here. In this only one page only you write down. Direct reaction we have this direct product in a given condition. We have to memorize all these reactions. If there are seven in reaction, we will write down in this number. Okay? So I will write it down in first two copies. You see, the first reaction we have when we have this Cl and it is heated with NaOH 350 degrees Celsius. Temperature you don't have to memorize. Okay? Now the first product we get here is O and A. HCl combines forms in HCl. Now again in this, if you do the acidic hydrolysis, you will end up getting phenol. Right? This is one method of preparation of phenol. If I use NaOCH3, NaOCH3, the next reaction we have, in presence of uh, like uh, copper salt we use here, copper salt. Temperature around 200 to 150 degrees Celsius. So the product here will be carbene, which is CS3. I can see you here. You must take care of one thing. This oxygen is not coming over here in this product. This ONA is getting replaced by OH minus here. 
Like otherwise, if this pore is this, then like this pore is this, this oxygen. Then here the product should be what? O C S three. That is not we are getting. We are getting C S three here. And this edge is that actually you know here this pore comes from the solvent, and this pore is not there. We have here the H two O C. Another reaction you see when you use NH3, two moles of NH3 with Cu2O. It is a method of preparation of NAD, which is NH2. Okay. Other product which is not important, it is Cu2, Cl2, and H2. But you must have to memorize these products. Okay. And anything we can also obtain from this. If you use any NH2 or KH2, any Cl forms, KCl forms, and NH2 attached. Okay. Cyanide we can also obtain if you have CuCl at around 200 degrees Celsius. It forms CuCl, and Cl will attach on the ring. Right down in this first. 
it involves the it involves the it involves the addition of alkyl or acyl group alkyl or acyl group on a benzene ring so i put alkyl or si so alkyl group is this ah any alkyl group right that you know already acyl is a c double bond o r right it involves the addition of alkyl or si group this is alkyl this is si on a benzene ring in presence of a cation Okay, in presence of that. Now, one thing you listen here: when the addition of alkyl takes place, we call it as pedal graph alkylation, right? When acyl group attached, it is pedal graph acylation. Okay, two reactions we have here. The first reaction we write down it is pedal graph alkylation. Okay, so this is the alkylation. For alkylation, we must have one alkylating agent and one catalyst, right? Alkylating agent and catalyst. This, so write down this first. The alkylating agent. I'll write down the. Okay, first you see this. Alkylating agent means those molecules which provides alkyl group to the benzene. Okay, those are alkylating agent and the catalyst we use. Okay, the first group can be alkyl halide RX. Okay, and the catalyst we use here, anhydrous what? ALCl. Okay, alkylating agent can be alcohol also. Right, and that would be the catalyst will be H2SO4, any acid. Or we may have H3PO4, the another acid, or we may have a uh, Lewis acid PO. Mostly, 90% of the chances you'll get anhydrous ALC in the catalyst. First of all, when you get the question, you have to realize that what reaction it is, right? And other one can be an alkene or alkyne, and uh, you know the. Uh, Catalyst will be any acid like H2SO4 acid. Okay, all these you have to memorize. Now, why we are discussing this particular uh, reaction here in this uh, alkyl like chapter, alkyl like chapter? Because of this, it is a reaction with alkyl like, right? With benzene. Correct. When you go to the alcohol chapter, you will have this reaction with benzene. Correct. Alkene alkyl we haven't done it there. Okay, so this again we are not going to discuss in the next chapter, which is alcohol. Correct? Because we have already done it over here, you can understand. This. Okay, so they have break, you will get later. Okay, so concentrate. Okay, so uh, you see uh, the reaction. I will just first write down the overall reaction. What it is we have? Benzene rich plus Rx, and the reagent is what? Anhydrous. Okay, so alkylation takes place. Means addition of this R will take place. Also. So this will be what the product will be. This is the product. Okay. If you have acylation, we'll discuss it later. But this group will attach to another benzene, COR. Got it. In case of acylation, will there be any catalyst? Acylation will result in this. Okay. Now, in this, you see the mechanism is important. Why it is important, I'll tell you. Uh, the mechanism you try to understand. Okay. Suppose we have C 
Secondary is more stable compared to this. With this carbon, this carbon joins over here. Got it? So this one is a major product because we have more stable carbon cation in secondary. So this one is major, this one will be minor. Got it? Now I'll go what happens. Can you tell me the mechanism of this reaction? How? Oh. No, 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 the OH must be getting away. How does the reaction take place? See, the acid gives H+, right? And the lone pair of oxygen will take this H+. So what happens here? CH3, CH2, CH2 and OH2+. Right? Now, this is electron.